Hello, English 2 students, and welcome. Today, we're going to be talking about pre-writing because I have an assignment where I'm asking you to provide me of some form of pre-writing uh, for your theme project over the crucible. Now, here's the deal. Uh, as much as I am a big component of free writing, I love free writing, uh, where you just kind of sit there and write as much as you possibly can. That's not pre-writing. Uh, uh, you can use it to help you get to pre-writing, but uh, free writing is just getting your ideas out in the open. Now, in fact, I'd re probably recommend doing free writing after you do pre-writing because pre-writing you have a plan so in your brain you know where to go at least a little bit and free writing you're just like you leashing it out all out just letting it all go so this is pre-writing not free writing so pre-writing before writing so uh, basically it's just gathering your thoughts kind of getting your thoughts into an organized structure you're not actually writing your entire essay you're just kind of structuring about all right i'm going to talk about this I'm going to talk about this, and then I'm going to talk about this. Professional writers use it all the time. Like even when I was getting my master's and even in my undergrad, I use this all the time. It's a valuable skill to get used to happening, having, or doing and slash having. And not only that, but it provides you with a good layout to where you're doing a lot of the thinking during the pre-writing. So it's just kind of putting stuff in place once you're actually writing. So there's a couple of different ways that you can put, do free writing. Uh, whenever we went over the PowerPoint, we talked about this specific one. I do believe it's this one, yes. Uh, where uh, you are doing an outline. Basically, the outline basically says, I'm going to talk about this in this part of the essay, this in this part of the essay, and provide this information here. This in this part of the essay, I'm going to provide this information here, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's kind of what how an outline would work. Uh, the one that I usually point to and I try to tell kids to, uh, to use is this one right here, which is a four square. Uh, in a four square, you're going to draw a box in the center of a piece of paper and then draw lines going out from that box. Uh, in the center of the box, you're going to put what your theme or what idea you're going to be exploring was. And then you're going to kind of put the reasons why you think that was the theme of the crucible in these different boxes right here. So that one, that one, that one, and then provide evidence underneath. Uh, basically, the way this is supposed to work is this is your introduction. This is your first body paragraph. This is your second body paragraph. This is your third body paragraph. And this would be your conclusion. So that's the beauty of the square. And that's why a lot of people like to use the four square. And it doesn't have to be just paragraphs. It, you can be simply, uh, introduction. This is part one of the essay. Here's part two of the essay. Here's part three or part four the end uh, or the project to be more specific. That You can use this stuff for just planning out how you're going to present your information in your project as well. Then another one that is a very popular one that people like to utilize is this one right here which is the web. And this is kind of just a haphazard web, but basically you start off with a circle in the middle, which would be your theme. And then you start drawing off circles from there, which you provide reasons and evidence and have different things that you explain. So basically things are branching off of one another whenever you do this particular method. Uh, I don't care which one of the uh, methods that you use. Uh, if there's another one I didn't mention that you want to use, it's fine. But it does need an organization style of method. So something like the Foursquare, something like the web, something like an outline that I want you to submit for your grade here. I'm not wanting you to submit free writing. I love free writing. Free writing is a very beneficial tool, but it's not what we're looking for for this assignment. This assignment is to show what structure you're going to use before your project, because some of you are doing podcasts or videos. So I want you to have kind of a structure to what that will be before you record it. Uh, some of you are doing an essay. I just want to see the structure of the essay before you write the essay. And then some of you will do a poster. So I just want you to have like a sketch out of what the poster would contain before you actually start constructing the bigger poster or a graphic. That's all for you. That's all the assignment is. So just get show me your pre-writing. You can take a picture of it and then upload it to Classroom. I recorded a video a bit when we were on snow break to show you how to do that. But that's all I got for you. If you have any questions, please email me, pdavidson at portugal.k12.mo.eu. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.